Tell me what the question is real quick. And we'll okay. Put it up. Services performed by unbilled totals of 600. So services performed. Performed. By unbilled. Unbilled. Totals 600. Total 600 dollars. Correct. Okay. And then, so basically, I'm wondering what kind of adjustment it is. An accrued expense, an unearned revenue, prepaid expenses, or accrued revenue. Well, let's look at the journal entry first, okay. and that will kind of help us understand what it is that we're doing. Okay. Okay. What is the journal entry for this? Um, service revenue. We're going to no. debit or credit service revenue. Credit. Okay, so we credit service revenue for the 600. 600. Okay. And then what? what we were doing, they still owe us the $600, uh -huh. okay? So if you think about the options that we have of what it could be, we have prepaid expenses, mm -hmm. there's also unearned revenues, mm -hmm. accrued revenues, and accrued expenses. Does this have anything to do with the prepaid expense? No. Okay. What about unearned revenues? No. Nope. No. Nope. So we know it's not a deferral. Right. Now accrued revenue, it obviously says revenue, but... Right. This, an accrued revenue is something that we've earned, but right. we haven't received payment for yet. Okay. An accrued expense is something we owe, but we just haven't paid yet. So would it be an accrued revenue? Accrued revenue. Right. Okay. okay. So, okay, I understand that one. Yeah. So, to know what's overstated and what's understated, how would I do that again? Okay. The first thing I do is I say, what is accounts receivable? An asset. I know it's an asset, so I know something's going to happen to my assets. Right. And then what's service revenue? Or revenue. Revenue, which, in this question, I think it's asking you what's, if, what happens to revenues, but they could be something about net income. Right. Or about retained earnings, or about stockholders' equity. Right. But on this one, I think it's just revenue. Okay. But we can answer all of these questions based on what we do. Right. right? Uh-huh. Let's kind of do our comparison to see. Okay. So if we didn't do this journal entry, so without the entry, or I think you liked it before, right? Right. So before and after the entry. So before the entry, we have no accounts receivable. So accounts receivable before was zero, um, after. And then after is 600. 600. Right, and this is just a made-up number before. Right. We could have had something in the company. So assets would be understated. Yeah, so if we didn't do this, but this is what it should be before, after, we didn't have enough. Right, okay. Okay, let's do the same thing with revenues, but you walk me through this. Time. So before, we have nothing on there. So revenues before is zero. And then revenues after would be 600. Okay. So, so revenues would be understated as well. Yeah, so if we didn't do this, we think we have zero, but we actually have 600, so right. it's understated as well. And just remember, they have to be in alphabetical right. order. 